What is up guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we have another book box battle and it is going to be Owl Crates versus Fairy Loot. And I have to say guys, these boxes are freaking heavy which is always a good sign. For those who don't know, these are two of my book box subscriptions and this is the video I do to battle them out to see which box, in my opinion, did better this month. But there really are no losers. This is really just for fun. You guys know I love both of these boxes. But without further ado, let's go ahead and battle these boxes. If you were interested, keep watching and let's get into it. Let's go ahead and start with Owl Crate first. Let's do a sneak peek. Oop, 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 oop. Okay, saved it with the pinky. Ha ha. This is jam packed. Okay, this is the spoiler card. That is so pretty. And this is their February box, A Power Within. Okay. Oh yeah, this is the box with their card set. Now this will make my fourth book based card set but it'll probably be my favorite one. Oh, it's purple wow so this is the front of the card i love the gold foiling this is kind of what the other cards look like and these are all of the characters oh my gosh these are so pretty wow the detail and the background on these Wow. Yep, these are my favorite. <laughs> Next, we have a little blue pouch with some stars on there. That's cute. Oh, it's like a piece of cloth. This is the one side. And on the back, it says, A witch is just a girl who has realized her power is her own. I That sounds so familiar. Hold on. Wicked Saints. It says, keep your glasses, e-readers dust free while you read with your double-sided screen cleaning cloth featuring designs inspired by Wicked Saints created by Nicole Deal. That is so pretty. And I love all the stars and moons. Yes, I do not have glasses anymore. Thank God for LASIK eye surgery. But I do have e-readers, so that is perfect. Yes, I will definitely be using this. Next, we have our monthly enamel pin. I will never get tired of these. And it's like a crown, maybe? And it says, still, I will fight. Ooh, that is really pretty. I like this. This might be one of my more favorite ones from Owlcrate. Next, we have a keychain. And it says, break bills. Alumni. Break bills? That sounds familiar. Break bills. Hey, the Magicians fans. Oh my God. Okay, my little sister Amber will die. When you're not busy exploring fillery, you can return to break bills using our alumni keychain designed by Blooming Library. Keychains aren't really my favorite item um, to receive anymore in subscription boxes. So yes, Amber, you, you can have it. Please don't come after me. But still, a very cool design, especially if you are a big Magicians fan. So they gave us an entire lunch box. Wow. And it has like a moon design, I think. But it came with a spoon and some chopsticks and it like opens up and everything. Wow, that is really cool. I don't think I've ever gotten a lunch box in a subscription box. This is definitely a first. And this will definitely help me portion control more because that's something I'm definitely trying to work on um, and trying to lose weight and stuff. So that is perfect. Wow, way to go Team Alcrate. Next we have a brown envelope, a Thread Sister BFF bookmarks. By Hey Atlas Creative. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, so I guess you give one to like your best friend. I don't have any friends. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, that is a very cool design. Oh, and there's string in here. You just do this, I'm assuming. 
Maybe. That might be completely wrong. That is very creative, not just a regular old bookmark. Next we have an Owlcrate exclusive, Chain of Gold, The Last Hours Book One, a brand new series in the Shadow Hunter world. Oh, so it's like a little excerpt. I love when Owlcrate does that. They are so amazing. Oh, I will definitely give this a read. And we're finally to the book. Ooh, it's so pretty. And it's an Outcrate exclusive signed edition. Look at this cover, guys. All the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace. Holy rabies, that is gorgeous. And it did come with a letter from the author. It should be signed as always. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. And it is signed by the author. I love this little extra detail. Let's see what it looks like without. Ooh, we have a silver crown. Ooh, silver on the spine. That is pretty. I'm gonna read the description real fast. She will reign as princess of the island kingdom, Visidia. Amor Montera has spent her entire life training to be high and Amancer, the master of souls. The rest of the realm can choose their magic, but for Amora, it's never been a choice. To secure her place as heir to the throne, she must prove her mastery of the monarchy's dangerous soul magic. When her demonstration goes awry, Amora is forced to flee. She strikes a deal with Bastian, a mysterious pirate. He'll help her prove she's fit to rule if she'll help him reclaim his stolen magic. But sailing the kingdom holds more wonder and more peril than Amora anticipated. A destructive new magic is on the rise, and if Amora is to conquer it, she'll need to face legendary monsters, cross paths with vengeful mermaids, and deal with a stowaway she never expected, or risk the fate of Visidia and lose the crown forever. I am the right choice, the only choice, and I will protect my kingdom. Holy rabies, that sounds amazing. I really just wanna turn this camera off and sit and read this book. I promise I won't though. It sounds so good. Oh, I cannot wait to read this. Wow. Okay, that was everything in the box. Let's take a quick look at their monthly pamphlet. As always, we have the Owlcrate exclusive cover and then the regular cover. Definitely am loving the Owlcrate exclusive cover this month. Then we have the interview with the artist, which was Nicole Dill. She's the one who did that cloth to clean our e-reader. And then we have the Spotify playlist, a Throne of Glass inspired playlist for Aelin and Rowan. Ooh, very cool. Next month's theme, which is this month because I'm behind in everything in my life, is Music of the Night. Flip for a sneak peek. In every March box, you'll receive an item from Flick the Wick. Okay, very cool. That was such an amazing box. As always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. I think my favorite item will have to be the card set, the lunch box, and the really, really pretty um, cloth. But I think the star of this box is the book. I mean, the star. Star star of the box hands down but will it be enough to beat fairy loot and guys look how like this thing is like barely even closed it's like jam-packed i see why look at that <laughs> sneak peek spoiler card that is very pretty rule breakers february 2020 spoilers on the back we have serpent and dove ceramic mug i absolutely adored serpent and dove i literally could not put it down we have a reed over here and then lou over here and in the middle we have a serpent and dove and then we have a black inside and i don't know if you can see that it's a serpent and dove on the inside oh i love when coffee mugs or mugs, I always say coffee mugs because that's what I use them for. But I love when mugs do black on the inside. That is so pretty. Yes, I am such a fan of this. Great start to the box. Next we have, oh, oh, look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. Ooh, I think it's a scarf. 
Oh, I think this is the Sorcery of Thorns item. We have the thorns and then we have the cat on the book to represent um, Silas. I don't know what clothes I own that might possibly even go with this at all. But then again, a part of me doesn't even care because it is so pretty and shiny. It's like my Niffler side of me is just going like pretty shiny. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, this might never be worn by me, but I still absolutely love it. Oh my God. This is the coolest luggage tag you could ever come up with. It is a Lord of the Rings luggage tag and it says, one does not simply walk into Mordor with the eye. <laughs> oh, this is the best. This is the best. I love this luggage tag so freaking much. I think I have a Harry Potter luggage tag and I'm going to take it off. I love this one so freaking much. I can just see him sitting there. One does not simply walk into Mordor. Oh my gosh, this was designed by Bookmark Tattoos. You rock, this is so cool. Definitely my favorite item so far. Wow, wow. Next we have some chapstick. You guys know I love some chapstick. It is Malachia's, what? Okay, say what now? I have no idea what that name is. But this looks like it's from Wicked Saints. Hold on. You can never have too many lip balms. So true. Um, we hope you like this. Exclusive for Fairy Loot. Strawberry Prosecco. Prosecco. Inspired by the mischievous Melishes from the Wicked Saints. Yeah. Let's give it a try. Ooh, it smells good. Feels good. Doesn't taste bad? Yeah. So yeah, very cool. Next, it looks like we have some Nevernight items. <sighs> there are a few series that I feel you just have to read in your life. And Nevernight is one of them. I am currently rereading Nevernight again. And I, I just, I love it. So first we have a sticker that says, too Few Centuries, Too Many Books by Jay Kristoff. And the first bookmark is The Books We Love, They Love Us Back. Just as we mark our places in the pages, the pages leave their mark on us. Ooh, that is so true. Never flinch, never fear, and never forget. Jay Kristoff. <sighs> These are just gorgeous. I love the silver foiling on them. And it's double-sided, so it's the same design on both sides. And I love that we have Mr. Kindly on here. These are just gorgeous. You guys know I love bookmarks. Next, it looks like we have an art print. So I'm assuming this is for the book. Very pretty. And then it looks like we have our monthly tarot cards. The Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. As usual, I have no idea what fandom these are from. Hold on, does it say on the... Strange the Dreamer series by Lainey Taylor. Designed by Gabriella Bougdozo. Okay. Gorgeous as always. Love to add more to my collection. We have our monthly bookmark with the same design as our spoiler card. We have the letter from the author with another art print. Ooh, very pretty. But we also have another item. It looks like postcards. So I'm assuming the book is The Shadows Between Us because it's like postcards, but on the back is some more art prints. So lots of art prints. This is the first one. This is the second one. And this is the third one. After all, love is an excellent motivator to kill. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. And finally, to the book, which is The Shadow Between Us. Oh, I love the color. The purple. Love the sword. Okay. It should be signed by the author. And it is. Let's see what it looks like without. We have a rose design and silver on the spine. And with Fairy Loot, we also get a reverse dust jacket art. Ooh, very pretty. 
Okay, I'm gonna read the description real fast. Alessandra is tired of being overlooked, but she has a plan to gain power. Woo the Shadow King, marry him, kill him, and take his kingdom for herself. No one knows the extent of the freshly crowned Shadow King's power. Some say she can command the shadows that swirl around him to do his bidding. Others say they speak to him, whispering the thoughts of his enemies. Regardless, Alessandra knows what she deserves, and she's going to do everything within her power to get it. But Alessandra is not the only one trying to kill the king. As attempts on his life are made, she finds herself trying to keep him alive long enough for him to make her his queen, all while struggling not to lose her heart. After all, who better for a shadow king than a cunning, villainous queen? Woohoo! The books this month freaking sound amazing! I cannot wait to read this. But guys, that was everything from the box. Let's take a quick look at Fairy Scoop. Well, I would, but I can't because this is December 2019. So I, they must have put the wrong one in my box. So yeah, I don't know next month's theme or anything. So I'm sorry guys for that. Definitely go check out their Instagram so you guys know what their next month's theme is. So that is so weird. But yeah, that was the box. As always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Wow. Hands down, for me, the luggage tag was my favorite item with the Nevernight bookmarks, along with the Serpent and Dove mug. My least favorite item... So I really love when we get art prints on the back of the spoiler card because I like to put those in the book and kind of keep them in the book forever. But when we get kind of like extra art prints and stuff like this, I kind of don't know what to do with them. So yeah, these are kind of my least favorite items in the box. Even though they're very good, they're very beautiful. I mean, I just, I don't know what to do with them. I mean, I'm not going to hang them on my wall or... I don't know, that's just a lot of art prints to include in one box. So yeah, it's not that I don't like them or they're bad or anything. Um, it's just I don't really know what I'm going to do with them. So yeah, if that made any sense at all. But now it is time to announce which book box won for the month of February. <sighs> this is actually really hard because as always, both of these boxes were amazing. Oh man, I don't know. Because both books sound really good. I love the Throne of Glass cards, the lunchbox. And then I I love the luggage and the Nevernight, then the coffee mug. I literally had to turn the camera off because I was sitting here so long debating which box I think won. Alcrate and Fairy Loot are kind of, in my opinion, the top book box subscriptions. And so their boxes are always so great, which is kind of why it's always so hard for me to battle them against each other. So I thought I was just gonna make the decision based off the books, but honestly, both of them sound amazing for different reasons. So that didn't really help me at all. So one of the boxes had two of my favorite items out of both boxes, but I don't always make that the deciding factor as that being the best box. But again, I can't decide which box is the best. So today that's going to be the deciding factor of that being the best box. So the winner of this book box battle for February 2020 is Fairy Loot. Oh, geez. That was a lot. So yes, I am so sorry, Alcrate. You definitely did not lose. It is just that Fairy Loot got me because I am a sucker for anything Lord of the Rings and Nevernight. So yes, Fairy Loot is the winner of this book box battle. But as always, you guys will have to let me know. Do you agree with my decision or do you think Alcrate should have won? As always, I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. <laughs> guys, don't hate me. Don't hate me. It wasn't my favorite series in the entire world. Like I read it once and I was kind of like, meh. <laughs>
Oh my god, I'm gonna get so much hate. People are gonna like unsubscribe, unsubscribe. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna give this a read, and so maybe I'll like this series. So I'm gonna edit this out. I'm gonna totally edit this out. People are gonna be like, "We hate you." Wow. Okay. <sighs> That was like my old man grunt. <laughs> a little roll. Ow. Ow. One. Ugh.